I have a feeling this video may or may not be completed. Lots of no parking signs out here. Lots of things pushing people away from coming to this area. This is the former home of the Mystery Fun House. But nonetheless, I'm going to try my attempt at showing you guys what remains of Mystery Fun House, which is now a park ticket center, a tourist info, and for Westgate resorts. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at what remains at the former home of Mystery Fun House. Hopefully this episode works out and no one comes out and tells me I can't be here or I can't record this. Nonetheless, we're going to attempt to do this. You guys are going to get to tag along. Now, before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. It'll keep you updated with my latest video. If you would like to support my channel, please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash world of Micah, where donating $1 a month can help fund episodes just like this. Now, let's take a closer look. So very, very close to Universal Studios is the former home of Mystery Funhouse, a very popular attraction here in Central Florida. It opened March 28th, 1976, and sadly closed February 18th, 2001. Now inside the Mystery Fun House, there were 15 chambers, as they call them. There are basically different sections that you would walk through. These included a mirror maze, rolling barrel, crawl through tunnels, a jail area where it looked like you were in jail. They had like a hologram room, a disco room. They had all kinds of different rooms that you would go through and that's what made the wackiness and the fun of Mystery Fun House. This place also had laser tag at one point called Starbase Omega. You could come in and play some laser tag. I mean, this place had it all. Later on in the years, they had a pizza area that was kind of like a showbiz pizza or a Chuck E. Cheese, if you will. And the cool thing about the pizza area that was like a showbiz pizza had the animatronic animals and everything. It was actually featured in the 1989 Ron Howard film starring Steve Martin, Parenthood. Now the outside of this place, the few scenes around this place was actually featured in a not so popular movie from 2002 called Night Terror. It was actually Al Lewis who was famous for playing Grandpa Munster. It was his last film ever. Now it had Putt-Putt as well. When it originally opened, it was called Mystery Mini Golf. And then later it became Jurassic Putt, but it was a 18 hole putt-putt area. But I'm gonna try and see what I can match up from when this was Mystery Fun House. In this photograph you can see the wizard that used to be where it says tourist info and there was also a tram that pulled up like a trolley that pulled up and then in the postcard advertisement you can see a wizard, an animated sketch of a wizard, and a cat. See in the photograph? It's kind of it's kind of wacky. And then this is what it looks like current day. The wizard and the overhang that the wizard was on has been removed. And the windows where it says park tickets here, there used to be windows there. Those have been removed as well because they put that sign. I bet they're still there behind the sign. And then this is a better look at the wizard in the front there. It used to be flags at the very tip top of the building. But that huge wizard head on the overhang leading you into this place is kind of cool. And I believe those trolleys were a part of the International Drive trolley system. And then this is what it looks like in the year 2020. The flags are still here to the far right. And they've added some flags in the front here because this is a tourist information center now. Just wanted to kind of show you guys. It's a little difficult to line this up because of the cars in the parking lot. But you can see in this photograph they had cars also here. And this was taken back in the 80s. It's really cool because it looked like a haunted house, but it was also very intriguing. It was something you wanted to come and do as a family for sure. So the wizard was right here. It was a little overhang. There used to be two windows behind that. And there was also another top of a building right here that's been removed. Those flags are, I'd say original. They're in bad shape, honestly. But there used to be some flags at the tip top of that building. They're no longer there. So right here is where the trolley would have pulled up and dropped people off like you saw in the photograph, right there at the front. Now, as far back as I can remember, this rock has been here. It's actually fake. It's not a, it's not a real rock. As you can see on this rock here, completely pushed in, and you can see the netting on the inside. These are the kind of rocks you see at the theme parks. They're made out of concrete and everything, but they're not 
natural. But there's a sign right over here, still says Mystery Funhouse. Look at this. The 20th anniversary was in 1996, 1976 to 1996, 20th anniversary, Mystery Funhouse. The best entertainment value in Orlando, said the Orlando Sentinel. Fun laughs and surprises. That's an original sign right there, and that's the only thing, besides the shell of the front of the building, that remains. But this is the only thing that says Mystery Funhouse still here. So I know that was the entrance, and I want to say over here was where the putt-putt area used to be. It's been completely cleared out, as you can see. Nothing but vans and different vehicles back here. No putt-putt left. Look at that. That was where a lot of the putt-putt stuff was, I believe. You can see on the wall there, Westgate Resorts now. Training department. I'm sure this bench is original from when this was Mystery Fun House. You can see at one point it was painted. It's been repainted now. Now, Mystery Fun House is home to the Florida Visitors Bureau and the Discount Ticket Center. If you're unaware of this location, straight ahead is Major Boulevard. If you take a left there and go right across the street, you'll be at Universal Studios Florida. Which honestly probably had a lot to do with the closing of this place. Being that close to a major theme park, it's tough. It's very tough. But if you ever watch the movie Parenthood, with Steve Martin, when they're at the pizza parlor, that was shot here, right inside Mystery Funhouse. It's amazing. It's crazy to also see how huge this parking lot was. I bet this place was very popular back in the day. Probably a full house every day. Don't want to overstay my welcome. Saw a few guys give me some weird looks through the windows. Probably curious at what I'm doing. But I wanted to show you guys what remains of this place? The old mystery fun house. If you ever got to go here, comment below. Let me know your memories. I never got to go to mystery fun house. I don't know why. Well, you guys, I think our adventure for today has come to an end, which means it's time to say goodbye. But if you enjoyed today's adventure, please give me a big thumbs up. Been having some fun driving around, finding former homes of attractions, different roadside attractions, different tourist attractions here in the Central Florida area. Mystery Fun House is definitely up there on the list of places that people definitely miss here in Central Florida. I'll see you guys tomorrow on a brand new episode. All my links are down below. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. Thank you.